Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have more on the controllers for you. Uh, it's probably going to be a little series, I guess. Um, here's something. When controllers, I think, are, are people that are in charge of groups on Earth and uh, somehow or other they've gotten onto the um, the psychic powers of the, or the ability to be a telepath on between the seventh and the eighth chakras. That's a crown of the head and a little bit above the head. And so I think um, amongst spiritual adepts there's been talk like this on the psychic plane for, for a while now. And uh, from what I hear, of course my experience is not totally extensive, but at least with two groups that I know about, spiritual groups, the people um, that are like the controllers for those groups, the, the leadership, they're talking to each other on the um, superconscious level, between the seventh and eighth chakras above the head, and they're using that form of telepathy, right? But the whole world is arising, you know. It's the ascension, the time of the ascension, and the second coming of Christ consciousness. And um, so many, many people now have the ability to hear communications on that superconscious level and to, to speak on that level. Uh, so what's happening with the controllers is they're pretty aggravated about the whole thing they they kind of thought that was their private um, phone line up there and uh, and so one thing that <laughs> sorry one thing that they're doing is they're they're delegating in some cases members of their group to 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 go down to the to the other chakras especially the lower triangle that's the basal chakra the um, the sexual chakra and the third chakra, the the navel point, the will will center of willpower, and to distract uh, the people that would otherwise be be talking to each other on a very high, um, what would you say, energy frequency, and distract them through um, starting astral stories, astral telepathic stories. Um, that are that are negatively oriented uh, in one of these three lower chakras, or or in the heart, heart center, heart center negative. Um, so we've talked before about the snowballing effect of these kinds of negative stories and how they carry along like a rainfall in the desert and turn into flash floods in the in in what were previously dry arroyos or stream beds, dry stream beds. And so all of a sudden uh, the newosphere can get all clogged up with these negative stories. Now, first I would like to say, this is my ethical stance is, that this is a free will planet and they have a right to do that if they wish. And uh, to, to be in it only for themselves and to try to be an elitist group that is controlling other people and so forth. And the people in their groups also have a right to, um, to support that, to give away their power, to give away their, their free will and their power to co-create reality and to, to sink themselves in that mire of, of negativity just because someone who's a leader of a spiritual group tells them to do that. They have a perfect right to do that. But I feel it's important that we all are aware of what is going on, you know, and that we choose, we willingly choose to give away our power and to seek, sink ourselves into the mire of negativity with the understanding that the more that we wallow in that negative uh, energy, the harder it's going to be for us to, to accomplish the ascension process. And for those of us that are not involved with such groups, I believe 
we've talked in the in a prior blog about or okay I talked <laughs> in a prior blog about how to how to step out of that and into a, a joyful vibration a joyful feeling or a feeling of love or gratitude or appreciation and the minute we step from the negative things the worry and the upset and the anger and the fear and the uh, the desire to hurt other people however it may be expressed and step out into the light of Christ consciousness in, in, in any of those forms of emotion the minute we do that we're out of the stream we're out of the flash flood which is a very we're onto the high ground where we can just simply neutrally observe the, the waters flooding past in some other on some other plane of reality, you know. So there's that. <laughs> so <laughs> I've been learning a lot lately about about being neutral about people's choices on this free will planet, you know, and not like opposing the flash flood, but just observing it and how important that is from for my own peace of mind and for my own ability to stay out of those raging waters. So I'm working on that. Y'all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.